Ghana, my country, also comes to mind here. In a little under six weeks from today, Ghana will mark 66 years of nationhood. Far from being an occasion to celebrate independence and the successes and achievements of nationhood, we will mark this day under the yoke of the worst economic situation uh, arguably in our history. We're currently bankrupt and burdened with a national debt we are simply unable to pay. You may have learned over the past weeks that Ghanaian, the Ghanaian government has defaulted on servicing of both external and domestic debt. There's currently a huge uproar over a controversial debt restructuring program that which the middle class of Ghana could be wiped out if plans to have them forfeit proceeds of government bonds on which they rely for investment and sustenance are followed through. In absolute terms, up to about 6 million people could be deprived of their life savings and investments. Ghana's banking and financial sector could also be under threat of insolvency if not, no suitable adjustments are made to the debt restructuring plan. Our present economic situation underscored by our bankrupt status sharply contrasts with our fortunes over a, little, over a little over a decade ago. At the time, our economy posted some of the highest growth rates in the world with a robust and fast-growing non-oil sector. Too many of our economic indicators today are pointing south. We have in the last month entered the hyperinflation era with an inflation rate of 54%. Our currency has in the past few months been counted amongst the worst performing in the world, plummeting by as much as 54% in value within the first 10 months of 2022. Widening budget deficits have characterized economic performance since 2018. A severe cost of living crisis fueled by ever rising prices of basic goods has imposed extreme hardship on Ghanaians as the government struggles to meet some of its most basic commitments in areas like education and health. Unemployment stood at a staggering 13%, the highest in recent memory. It will be no hyperbole to assert that our present state bears an uncanny resemblance to the period of the late 70s and 80s. <clears throat> 